This tutorial will give you a brief description of how to use Beautiful Audio Editor. So first of all, you'll go to beautifulaudioeditor.avspot.com and once here, you'll click on Demo and then you'll be brought up to the main program. Now this can be used with Chrome, that's the preferred browser. It may not work with some other browsers. So first of all, you'll want to either record some audio or go ahead and import some audio to this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the record button and I've got a script from an audio commercial that I'm going to be recording and then I'll later um, add some things to it. So again this is the record button. I press on it once to start recording. I press again to stop the recording. So let's get started with the recording. Hungry for something deliciously different? Barber's Crunchy Shredded Oats and Multigrain Shredded Spoonful cereals are whole grain, heart healthy choices for an all natural breakfast the whole family will enjoy. Enter our Taste for Adventure sweepstakes and you could win a whale watching trip to Hawaii. Learn more at barbersbakery.com. You'll find Barbara's full line of cereals wherever natural foods are sold. Barbara's Bakery, great taste without compromise. Okay, and then we click again to close it. So now you notice that the the track's still moving, um, but the recording has stopped. So the first button I want to show you is how to get back to the beginning. We can set the playtime to zero by clicking on this button here, and now it's set to here. So if I click on the next button, which is play, it will go ahead and play back what I'd recorded. Hungry for something deliciously different? Barbara's crunchy shredded oats and multigrain shredded credit spoonful. And then I can press pause to pause it. Okay, and if I want to go back to the beginning again, I click on the set play time to zero button. Okay, so that's the basic of recording. Now let's talk about adding additional um, audio. So I can click on import here or go to file and import from here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click import and it says import audio. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a file and in my downloads I've got a music clip that I downloaded earlier so I'm going to go ahead and click import audio and now I've got my music clip. Okay so I've got this voice and then the music and I apologize for the sound, but let's go ahead and play them both together and see what it sounds like. Hungry for something deliciously different? Barbara's crunchy shredded oats. And then I'm going to pause it. Okay, so uh, you can see they both get played together. So let's go ahead and go through some of the other menu items here. This is select mode here. If I click on it, I can then select a certain uh, track and then I can either move it or do other things with it. So um, I'm still on select mode. If I click here, I can move this to where I want it. So from the very beginning, if I go back to playtime to zero, now I have my music at the beginning and then I'll have the voice and the music together and then the music by itself. So I'm gonna, I'm still on select mode. So I'm gonna move this back over a little bit and you'll see just a little pause in voice and the music will go first and then they'll both be going together when I play it. Hungry for something deliciously different? Barbara's crunchy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Now, um, I do kind of like how it's working now, how, how that's set up. I think that's pretty good. Uh, another thing you can do is you can duplicate a section. So if I, for example, wanted to duplicate my voice track, I could click this duplicate button first and then click on the voice track and then it duplicates it. Okay. So that's great and all, but I don't really want my voice there twice. So I will uh, show you in a minute um, how to get rid of that. But let's move to the next button. The next button is split section mode. And if I click on this, I can go ahead and split the audio somewhere. So my split selection mode is selected and now I can maybe cut out after the voice. I can cut out the music at a certain part. Um, but I'm actually going to go after the first section of voice and cut it out there. So I'm going to click. Sometimes it might take two or three clicks to get it just right, um, but it should split it. Okay, so now that I've split it, 
I can go ahead and get rid of this extra section here and I can get rid of this section too as well. But to do that I'll need to click on the remove section mode. So I've clicked here on this X and then I can remove this just by clicking on it and I still have X selected so I can click on this and remove it as well. So now I've, it's more like what I want. I've got my voice, I've got a little music before, music's going through, and then music afterwards. So let's go ahead and go back to set playtime to zero, and let's uh, play this together and see what it sounds like. Hungry for something deliciously different? Barber's Crunchy Shredded Oats and Multigrain Shredded Credit Spoonful cereals are whole grain, heart healthy choices for an all natural breakfast the whole family will enjoy. Enter our Taste for Adventure sweepstakes and you could win a whale watching trip to Hawaii. Learn more at barbersbakery.com. You'll find Barber's full line of cereals wherever natural foods are sold. Barber's Bakery, great taste without compromise. Okay, let's go ahead and pause that. And let's say I want to take off a little bit more. I'm going to go back to the split section mode and clip off just a little bit and then remove it. Okay, so now that we've got it how I want it, uh, we can go ahead and change the volume. So this green line below each track tells you where the volume is for that track. And the music, I'm okay with the music uh, being a little bit louder at first, but then once I come in with my voice, I want it to go down. So if you click on a certain section, you can create a new point uh, where you can adjust the volume. So I can click, make a point there to adjust it, and then I can click another point, and then I can click and drag any of these to adjust them. So let's say once my voice comes in, I want it to drop down to a low volume on the music, and then when my voice is over, I'm going to click down here on my green line for my vo for my music track. And then I'm going to click once more. And so now I can adjust this and bring the music back up at the end. And then I will leave my voice ha as it is. We'll keep the voice track at a normal volume. The sound's going to be high. Then it's going to drop down to low and come back up high again. So let's try that from the beginning. Hungry for something deliciously different? Barber's Crunchy Shredded Oats and Multigrain Shredded Credit Spoonful cereals are whole grain, heart healthy choices for an all natural breakfast the whole family will enjoy. Enter our Taste for Adventure sweepstakes and you can win a whale watching trip to Hawaii. Learn more at barbersbakery.com. You'll find Barbara's full line of cereals wherever natural foods are sold. Barbara's Bakery, great taste without compromise. All right, so that is about it for your basic controls. Um, you can switch it over to mixer mode for different things, but we're not going to use that. Uh, you can also switch it to four for time instead of um, being based on a time. It's based on the 4-4 time signature. So we also have undo. If you want to undo anything, if you made a mistake, um, you can go ahead and undo that. So uh, right now I just undid the last thing I did, which is my sound um, adjustment. And I actually am going to have it come up, a, maybe come up a little bit here. There we go. And then we'll have it fade out at the very end. We'll go up and then back down. So you can do that. You can make your adjustments however you like them. And then there's a couple more options here. You can download it either as a WAV file or an MP3. An MP3 is going to be a smaller file if you're worried about space. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to download this as an MP3. And then once it shows up here, you'll click on the link here, and then it will show up down in your downloads at the bottom. I will go ahead and just move my screen a little bit if I can. And 
you'll see down there it's showing up. And that is all you need to do. And then you can close it once you've downloaded it. And that's about it for your basic uh, tutorial for how to use Beautiful Audio Editor.